so I guess I'm doing these from the nooks for the six, seven viewers that are actually watching them. Um, yeah, I know I said that the last one of these I did, I told you guys that I would continue to share, like, the books I purchased. I'm, I'm do doing my book haul throughout these from the nooks. I figure it's, it's, I don't really like doing those huge ass hauls because I feel like they're just, I don't like to watch those, so, even though I have in the past, but, like, I watch them in small doses, I guess. Um, we're going to start off by just sharing you guys, like, the books I have been reading lately. Um, I finished, you know, Out Behind the Barn, and then immediately after that, I started reading The Rotting Within by Matt Kurtz, and, uh, this is a Grindhouse novella, and, um... I went into this not really reading the synopsis. I just kind of blindly went into it. Um, I will say that it is rather different than the impression that I had that it was going to be. Um, it's different, I guess you could say. Um, I'm not really 100% sure what to think of it yet. I'm like not very far into it, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it because like. The intro is kind of more, it's different than what I had anticipated. I wasn't expecting like a supernatural kind of paranormal kind of thing going on. I don't, I'm not sure what it is at this point. Um, and then I was reading this comic by Image Comics. It's F Fuse, uh, The Russian Shift, and this is more or less, it's a crime mystery that it's also science fiction because it takes place on a space station. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like an alternate world because they talk a lot about um, events of the 90s. And it's obviously stuff that didn't happen in our world. But it was kind of interesting. Um, but it was such a slow progressing uh, comic. That's why I really didn't want to do a review of this one. It was, it was meh. It was really okay. Um, it does have kind of... Um, Blade Runner vibes to it, but it was it was okay. It was okay. That's why I wasn't gonna do a review of that. And then I uh, I started reading this one. This is from Dark Horse, um, Life Formed, and I'm assuming because I got two books of this series, and I'm assuming this because it has the earlier copyright date, so. Yeah, um, I I literally just started this, so I really don't have any thoughts on it right yet. Okay, now I'm gonna share with you the a few more four more books that I have picked up in the last few months, and I'm not really gonna talk about any movies. I mean, maybe I was thinking about doing a review movie uh, review for uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I did watch that, and then I thought about it, and I was like, I don't know, like, the reviews on Letterboxd for that are really low, which is surprising, because, um, my son's the reason why I was interested in watching The Five Nights at Freddy's, and I feel like that that movie with Nicolas Cage, The Willy's Wonderland, I think, finished producing and filming their movie, like, before the, the FNAF one, and... Like, so now that one's got all the, you know, all the hype. Well, Five Nights at Freddy's, they took too damn long to film and produce that. And I think they really, they should have done it sooner. But yeah, I mean, my son, you know, I remember him playing those games. They're like low graphic quality fucking video games. and But they have an interesting kind of dark storyline to them. So when I heard that they were doing the film, Bloomhouse was producing it, I was interested in seeing it. And it was okay. It was a meh, it was a meh Honestly, film. Guys, I, mean, I feel I, like what the FNAF film really lacked, because it did, it followed the lore of the games, but the games rely on jump scares, and I feel like that should have been incorporated into the film. Now, I feel like they, they did have a great cast. Five Nights at Freddy's had a great cast. But I felt like the way it was laid out, the way it was produced, it could have been much better. They should have done jump scares to emphasize the fact of the game, the homage to the game. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I will check out a sequel. I know they plan on filming a sequel for that one. And that's like my little Five Nights at Freddy's mini review for you. 
Don't tell it, you know, don't say nobody told you about it. But let's get on with those, like a few of the books that I purchased in the last few months. Um, I do occasionally read sci-fi. So um, I picked up this Piers Anthony uh, on a pale horse. Something to do with immortality. So like, yeah. Never read it. And it, I've always wanted to read because, you know, he's a classic sci-fi author. And I got another Chuck Palahniuk. Um, I like Chuck Palahniuk. I've read a few of his stuff. And that's pretty much why I picked up this one. I'm not really sure what it's about. Um, I just saw that it was Chuck Palahniuk. And I used to be friends with this girl who was, like, super into him. And she was like, you really got to read him. He's one of my favorite authors. And I was like, all right, I'll check him out. And I read a few of his books and really enjoyed those. So, like, he's one of those, like, insta-buy authors for me. And then another insta-buy author for me is Vonnegut. Uh, Kurt Vonnegut here is Slapstick. Um, this is one... I, I, it's, I imagine it's going to be a funny, comedic kind of read because he does kind of have that comedic kind of sense of humor. He's always, like, kind of has little jokes in his books, and I appreciate his humor. Um, I like the style of his writing. It's different from any other authors I've really read. Um, I like to say that his style's kind of Americana. He kind of relies on, like, pop culture and stuff like that, the things of the day when he was writing. So, yeah, this one should be good. I still have his, another one of his books that I bought. It's on my shelf back there that I have yet to read. And then the last one I'm going to share with you is uh, As If It Never Happened. This, the only reason I wanted to read this is because it's a, it's a memoir type uh, coming of age book. Uh, but the thing is, and the reason why I wanted to read this is because it takes place in my hometown. Um, I grew up in this little rural, like, country town that's uh, in the suburbs of Syracuse, I guess you could say. And this guy happened to grow up there, too. And I guess he had a rough life. And just for the, just for the only fact that this guy lived in my hometown is the only reason I wanted to read this. So I can't really see this one being a super popular book in the published world but wow holy shit like I saw how thick this book was now I'm looking at the font it's like super small so yikes big yikes but I have uh, heard a few people that are in my area have read it they said they enjoyed it so I'm kind of curious I'm curious but I don't know how curious I am I'm you know kind of want to read it just for that one simple reason but you know we'll have to wait and see but that's all I got for you guys. Like, um, I <laughs> was hesitant to film another one of these just because not many people are watching these videos. Um, I feel like a majority of the people that are subbed to my channel, they're all here for the reviews. And that's what the content that they're wanting to watch. So, yeah, that's why I don't film these too often. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try to throw down a link or two for some of these books. I'm going to throw it on my coffee link if you want to donate to that. And uh, some slight chance if you are new here and this is your first time watching this, hit that subscriber button, hit that notification bell. You know the drill. Till next time. Later, guys.